Välkomna till Kungliga vetenskapsakademin och den här träffskonferensen när vi ska presentera årets Nobelpris i fysik. Welcome to the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences and this press conference where we will present this year's Nobel Prize in physics. We will keep to our tradition and begin in Swedish and then continue in English. And you are of course <coughs> welcome to ask questions in either language later on. Jag heter Hans Ellegren och är ständig sekreterare här på Kungliga vetenskapsakademin. Till höger om mig sitter professor Eva Olsson, ordförande för Nobelkommittén i fysik. Och till vänster professor Mats Larsson, ledamot av Nobelkommittén för fysik och expert inom ämnesområdet. My name is Hans Ellegren. I am the secretary general of the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences. To my right is Professor Eva Olsson, Chair of the Nobel Committee for Physics. And to my left, Professor Mats Larsson, Member of the Nobel Committee for Physics and one of the experts in this field. Årets pris handlar om elektroner i blixtbelysning. This year's prize is about electrons in flashes of light. Kungliga vetenskapsakademin har beslutat att utdela 2023 års Nobelpris i fysik i lika delar till Pierre Agostini, The Ohio State University, USA, Ferenc Krauss, Max Planck Institute for Quantum Optik, Garching, och Ludwig Maximilians Universitet München, Tyskland och Ann Lyer, Lunds universitet, Sverige för experimentella metoder som genererar attosekunder av ljus för studier av elektrondynamik i materia. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2023 Nobel Prize in Physics in equal shares to Pierre Agostini, the Ohio State University, USA, Ferenc Krauss, Max Planck Institute for Quantum Optik, Garching, and Ludwig, Ludwig Maximilians Universität München, Germany, and Anne Lyer, Lund University, Sweden, for experimental methods that generate attosecond pulses of light for the study of electron dynamics in matter. Professor Olsson will now give us a short summary. Please. Thank you. So, this is about attosecond physics. The ability to generate attosecond pulses of light has opened the door on a tiny, extremely tiny time scale. And it's also opened the door to the world of electrons. Back in 1925, Werner Heisenberg argued that this world cannot be seen. Thanks to attosecond physics, this is now starting to change and we are starting to explore this world. Let's take one second, which is the time of a heartbeat. If we now divide that, by 1,000, and we divide it again by 1,000. Divide it again by 1,000. Divide it again by 1,000. And again by 1,000. Now we are at the time that it takes the atom to move. So then, if we divide it by 1,000 times more, we move into the world of the electrons. And that is the at-second physics. So, <clears throat> at-second science allows us to address fundamental questions, such as the time scale of the photoelectric effect for which Einstein, Albert Einstein, received the Nobel Prize in Physics in 1921. 
We can also study charge transfer processes in materials and in molecules. What this means that we are able to develop potential important applications for future in areas such as catalysis, electronics and medicine. This year's prize honors the pioneering experimental work of Pierre Agostini, Ferenc Krauss and Anne Lollier. They discovered that it is possible to generate these attosecond pulses. They developed methods to measure the duration of the pulses, and they also developed techniques for generation both of pulse trains and of isolated individuals.